I picked up The Prisoner because this is by Thomas Dish. Um, so I absolutely love Thomas Dish. Uh, and I'm actually reading On the Wings of Song right now by Dish. So um, I don't know if I really want to read it, but I wanted to have it because it's written by Dish. So, um, and I believe this was a, a TV series at some point. So um, I, I don't think I ever watched it, but that one stay with me because it's it is a dish. So um, I picked up another Malfi, The Night Parade. Um, I just finished another Malfi actually today, and um, I really enjoyed it. And I will save that for my wrap up video, which I didn't do a January one, so I'm going to combine January and February together. Um, I enjoyed the one I read today. I think more than Black Mouth. So, and everybody says Black Mouth is best. I don't know. But Night Parade, I haven't, I don't know about this one. Um, I Everything I've read from Malfi's, but Malfi, everything I read from this Malfi guy, Mal, Malfi, everything I've read from Malfi has been pretty good. So I'm looking forward to reading that as well. Um, this, I don't really know anything about. I think I just grabbed it because it looked cool. Parasite uh, by Mira Grant. Does anybody know anything about this one? I don't think I... I don't think I've heard of this one. Um, it says it's a hard sci-fi. Oh, it looks like... Okay, look out for book two. Sim, symbiont? Symbiont. So, apparently this is the first in a, a series. So, um, if you've heard about that, let me know. This is a big, fat book, but it's only 500 pages. Look at how fat that is, but it's only 500 pages. It seems like it would be like, this would be like a 800, 900 pager. Um, okay. The Spinner, Doris Pasertia. This is one that I want to read. I have the paperback and I will probably hang on to both the paperback and the hardcover because both covers are awesome. Um, I don't remember the premise other than I think it has something to do with uh, an alien coming through like a portal or something. And, and he like almost like a spider-man type thing where there's webs and stuff like that all over and trapping people and they're trying to stop him just sounded really neat and persertia is pretty weird writing so uh it might be really cool this is um book 10 in the reality bleed series i read books one through four in a row they were fantastic i love them good blend of sci-fi horror this is the 10th so this is part of season three of that series. I accidentally ordered two. And so, you know, it's cost me, I don't know, 12 bucks or 13 bucks or something. So I'll put it on whatnot. I'm sure I'm not getting that much for it, but that'll be available for you guys. Uh, I got this one because I have a few of them uh, on eBay. So this is another part of that series. I don't think I have this one. I'll, I'll bundle them together and put it back on eBay. Unless somebody really wants that, let me know. Um, I grabbed two more of the Philip Jose Farmer Riverboat series. This is the Dark Design and the Fabulous Riverboat. I do have a bunch of these in hardcover. I don't know if I have the full set, but I'm going to probably hold off on these and try to find the rest of them and see if I have a matching set because that would be pretty nice to have the full matching set of the Riverboat series. And I think when you have the matching set, it lines up uh, across and makes it look pretty nice. Um, Asylum, this is supposedly a very scary book. And um, there's parts uh, two and three, I think, Sanctum and something else. And I have Sanctum, I think, in here in this bundle still. And then there's another one that I have somewhere floating around that I'll try and find. All right. Christopher Rowley, the founder. This is the guy who wrote The Vang. And this one's not part of The Vang. This, um, this is the Fenril books, it's called. So The Founder, The War for Eternity, and The Black Ship is this, this series. There is The Vang. There's a sequel to The Vang. I forget what it is. And then there's a prequel 
or the first one in the series called Starhammer. So the, this is another different trilogy, but look at the cover. It looks freaking cool. So uh, another colony type deal. I, I'm, I'd like to read it. I'd like to read it, but I have that one already. So that'll be on whatnot. Uh, Ender's Game, another trade paperback size. I, um, I really love this book. I thought it was great. I know some people don't. Whatever. You can be wrong. I don't care. Uh, the best of R.A. Lafferty in a trade paperback size. These best ofs are really great. So I'll throw that one on there. Um, Jeffrey A. Carver from a changing changeling star. Look at the look at the star. <laughs> Hardcover. Joe Lansdale, Bad Chili. I mostly know Joe Lansdale from what are those other books? I forget. Anyways, Joe Lansdale does the the, the drive-in books. And I think there's like a Joe Lansdale show on one of the horror uh, free channel type things. Um, the Trident by Joel Hamill. I have this in paperback. It's a really cool looking cover. Um, I believe it's a thriller but it's from that paperback from hell type era. Another L. Ron Hubbard deal with the uh, a bunch of different uh, authors in here. Jody Lynn Nye, Kat, uh, Christine Rush, um, Orson Scott Card giving tips on writing and some things like that. And a um, bunch of other author authors. This one has color illustrations in it. So pretty neat. Gregory Benford Eater. I have not read any Benford yet, so that's a hardcover Benford. These are all on Whatnot, I believe, already. So if you went on there right now, you could actually go and pre-bid on them if you wanted to. A.E. Von Vaught, Rogue Ship, hardcover. I love these old vintage hardcovers. I love the paperbacks too, but I love the hardcovers. Um, CJ Cherry's The Faded Sun trilogy in hardcover. So if you can see that, they're all different deals there, but they're a matching set. Little sun fading on the side though. Those are on whatnot already. Gene Wolfe's The Citadel of the Autark. And this is the fourth in the, um, Why something sun? Why can't I think of it? Book of the New Sun. Jeez. Fourth in the Book of the New Sun series. Clifford Simak, The Fellowship of the Talisman in hardcover. I actually have this one for myself already. So that one's on whatnot. Oh, here's the other tip tree I was talking about. Up the Walls of the World. There's tip tree. And there's... And there's Alice. Smoking. Oh, no, I can't remember her last name. You probably already put it in the comments. Um, let's see if it says it on here. Uh, is the pseudonym... So I was right. Okay, good. I got it good. Pseudonym... Uh, okay, James Tri Tiptree Jr. is a pseudonym for the most mysterious science fiction author of the 1970s. However, it is known that this Hugo, a Nebula Award-winning author of two collections of short stories, 10,000 Light Years from Home, in warm worlds and otherwise, is a research psychologist and teacher in the Washington, D.C. area and a former government intelligence agent. But they don't say her name. Uh, it's Alice something, and I can't remember that. I can't remember it right now. I don't know why. But very mysterious at the time. 1978, first publication, or first edition, no, book club edition, so first print, that's on whatnot. Another CJ Cherry, this is 40,000 in Gehenna and uh, hardcover. Um, uh, three original novels of science fiction, Paul Anderson, Gordon Dixon, and Robert Silverberg, The Day the Sun Stood Still. And we have The Four Lords of the Diamond, Jack Chalker in hardcover. 
And this is the um, Lilith, a snake in the grass, Cerberus, a wolf in the fold, Charon, a dragon at the gate, and Medusa, a tiger by the tail. Those four books in one. That's a whole series. I do have that series in paperback as well. So um, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. All right, Frank Herbert's four complete novels. So Whipping Star, The Doze Die Experiment, The Santa Roga Barrier, and Soul Catcher, all in one volume, hardcover. Andrea Norton, Vorloper, Vorloper, cool cover. Andrea Norton, or Andrea Norton, or Andre Norton, Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. This is a cool one. Strange Gifts. It is a short story collection, but check out the authors. So we got Lafferty, or no, sorry. Yeah, Lafferty, Bester, Alfred Bester, R.A. Lafferty, Philip K. Dick, Gordon Dixon, Robert Silverberg, Chris Neville, Frank Bell, Belknap, uh, and it's edited by Silverberg. That's a freaking cool one. So that's going on whatnot. Best of Damon Knight. Another best of. I love these best ofs. That's in hardcover. Um, the Listeners, a novel by James Gunn. This one's not very common. James Gunn usually was an editor, not often writing novels. I mean, he has several novels, but they're not ones that I find very often. I usually find his edited um, short story collections. And then this one is already on whatnot, and I think it's I think I have it for half of what it would go for on eBay listed because this is a one that I've actually sold several times. So I uh, figured uh, I'll throw it on whatnot. If nobody wants it, I'll throw it back up on eBay. It'll sell, no problem. Uh, See all more Jarell of Jory, and this is a collection of different stories. Com they're compiled into one story, um, and it's uh, um, I forget the which ones they are. But it's a very well known and is um, uh, not very easy to find. So, Black God's Kiss, Black God's Shadow, Jarell Meets Magic, The Dark Land, and Hell's Guard. And at some point, I, th I do want to read this at some point. Um, I believe it is, it's fantasy, medieval fantasy, but I, I think I'd probably enjoy it considering it's you know five shorts or five in a series compiled into one i think they would be quite enjoyable so even though i'm not a big fantasy reader that's there i still have two full shelves of books that i haven't gone through yet uh, maybe i'm splitting this into two and you're getting the second half now i don't know we'll see okay so i got a craig johnson one he did the longmire series and this is one of them i plan on reading the longmire series at some point so that's there um i don't know anything about this one um lars kepler uh juna lynn lena novel the hypnotist i think this is translated from uh translated from swedish Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad. I got a Darcy Coates bundle. I was uh, I was thinking I might want to read some Darcy Coates because um, there was uh, the one that I read about them going down deep into the into a ship down in the bottom of the ocean. It sounded really cool. I read it. It was pretty corny and um, not great. And the mo the rest of hers are the rest of hers are mostly like ha haunted house ones, and that's just not my thing. So I'm probably not going to keep these. The only one I might keep is this one. It's called Small Horrors. So I think this is a short story collection, I believe. Um, yeah, fifty tales of horror. So they're shorts, so I may enjoy those more because they're just succinct and not going to drag on and on and have terrible dialogue um so i'm really selling these for you but if you like darcy coats i'm gonna have a lot so there's the haunting of Leigh harker the haunting of the gillespie house the haunting of the full cross no the full croft ghosts so basically the haunting of, the haunting of ashburn house and i think i have two of these actually let's see hunted 
maybe if it's not a uh um okay so it's like a disappearance novel i might hang on to this one if it's not a haunted house one maybe we'll see the whispering dead gravekeeper number one so first in a series so i don't know anybody read any of these are they worth hanging on to i don't know uh haunting of blackwood house another haunting one Haunting of Rookward, Rookward House. Uh, Craven Manor. A haunting of, probably. Uh, the Twisted Dead. This is Gravekeeper number three, it says. So there's one more in between the Ravenous Dead. And I don't think I have that one. So those are Darcy Coates ones that will be available. I also got The Totem by David Morrell. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, I read it last year, um, and uh, it's 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 enjoyable, really enjoyable. So it's worth reading. He's an excellent writer. He's the guy that wrote Rambo, First Blood, and and some other stuff. Uh, I picked up The Giver on DVD. We just finished the book. I think my daughter finished it. Um, I think she just finished it. I'll have to ask her again. But she was like, she had two chapters left a little bit ago, so she must have finished it. Um, the The Giver. And uh, I've already seen it a long time ago, and I remember going, man, this is a weird movie. I don't know about this movie. So, uh, But I was like, hey, you know what? It's a buck. I'll grab it. After we're done, we can watch it and see if we like it or not. So, Okay. Um, I picked up a Leisure Horror Silent Scream by Dan Schmidt. I haven't heard of this one before. Uh, another copy of Old Man's War because it's my favorite book from last year. So if you haven't read this one, I'll have it available for you. And you definitely need to read it if you're a sci-fi guy or girl, whatever. Uh, the Vang. I found a copy of The Vang by Christopher Raleigh. I really enjoyed this book. I also read this one last, last year or the year before. I can't remember. Anyways, I read it. Near the beginning of last year, either in December or in January, I think. Um, I think it was in December actually. So, uh, it was really good. It's a, uh, it was weird when it started and that's because there's a book before it. So I should have read the first book. I didn't realize there was another book and, uh, I probably will go back and read the first book and then maybe reread this one and then read the one that follows it. So, um, but it was really enjoyable. Some good alien horror type stuff. I picked up these because it's a freaking Jack Bauer, baby. And I haven't read any 24 books before. I've never even seen them. And I was like, hey, that's cool. I kind of want to maybe read one of those. Oh, look, there's a a card to the Hyatt in there. Hmm. Let's go see if that works. So um, some 24 Jack Bauer books. Um, this is a clan novel, Vampire the Massacre. It is, um, I have a bunch of these actually. I think this is like number five. I, there's a bunch. So um, I, I'll try and find the other ones and put them together. Um, uh, Bethany Sin by Robert McCammon. I don't think I have this cover. I have this book, but I don't think I have this cover. I might. Um, so I will see, and if I don't have this cover because this i believe is a first uh yeah if i will probably keep this one if i don't have this cover if i do have this cover then i will put this on whatnot oh yeah i was very excited for this I forgot no i just put it in there but this is um a dark fantasy uh horror and supernatural movie uh like kind of coffee table type book so um it has like all the you know pictures and information about these different movies and uh it just looked really cool i like these kind of things it's sort of like a paperback from hell for, but for movies it looks like you know so um definitely one that i want to just read through and check it out and you know gain any kind of uh any more information on that kind of stuff that i may have not acquired already uh endymion so um part of the hyperion series uh i have read Hyperion and Fall of Hyperion, but I have not read Endymion yet. And um, this is the third. Yes, the third and then Rise of Endymion is the fourth. 
So I probably should read this one and the next one pretty soon so that I don't like forget all of and have to go back and reread the first two again to catch up and be on track. I like doing that so that I don't, you know, it doesn't fade away. And then I'm like, what happened in the first two books? You know, uh, but I do have this one. I have it in hardcover. So I'll be passing this one along for whoever needs a copy of Endymion. Uh, I got this one. Actually, um, I think I picked this one up before Christmas and I didn't add it to my list. You better watch out. Christmas book. Um, I will probably hang on to this one for next year. Um, I will do again a Christmas read of horror books um, more than likely. It was That was really fun. I enjoyed most of them. It was a great time having a week off of work and just reading, you know, cheesy horror books that were super fun to just sit there and read so i'll hang on to that one. Oh yeah i had ordered this one a while ago i must be getting into my my stash of ones that i ordered uh but zombies zombie by joyce carol oates uh, i heard this is really good i've seen it all over booktube and so that's why i ordered it and i think um mj was one of the ones i heard it from the most i think this was a, a book that she really loved and um and so i think that was the recommendation of as to why i grabbed it so there's that one um i picked up this one because it's a, uh, it's by alan dean foster so i think this is the first of the remade star trek novel uh, novelizations i love uh, alan dean foster's novelizations i really haven't read anything from alan dean foster alan dean foster that i haven't enjoyed um i mean not you know they're 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 just good solid books you know um they're just good enjoyable solid books i'm not a star trek fan i don't but like everything about star trek should be like ryan you should love star trek you should be like just enamored with star trek and i've never liked star trek i don't know why I also okay these are these are ones I ordered before Christmas. Uh The Watchers by AM Shine. Uh I don't remember why I ordered this. I I find I listen to people on BookTube and I'm like they talk about something that sounds good and I'm like oh, that sounds good and then I pop it on my eBay watch list. And then as I get little bits of money here and there I'll I'll just throw it in the buy it now and buy it or if someone sends me a good offer I'll take it or something. Um, so I don't remember why I ordered this one, but at some point someone said it was good. So I ordered it. <laughs> so that one's going, I'm keeping that one. Uh, also this one, I think this was Outlaw Bookseller that recommended this one. Simon Ng's Painkillers. I think it's been a while, but I think, I think, I think that Outlaw Bookseller recommended this one at some point as kind of a horror sci-fi title i could be mistaken but um i remember thinking that sounds really cool and i want to read that one so i picked that one up actually i ordered that one and then i ordered i ordered this way before christmas and uh, there was one on ebay i don't know why there was only one on ebay or at least there was only one i could find but it came from australia so i ordered it and it didn't get here till like mid-january um so the christmas morning massacre it is by nasser rabadi and this is raven hill butcher book one i don't know if there's more than book one yet um, but definitely christmas and i will add that to my christmas for next year i mean you could still read christmas not during christmas time but whatever um i have a bunch of these area 51s i just picked it up to add to the set that i have i'm i don't know if i have this one this looks like the first one i don't know all the other ones are like area 51 something uh greg bear vitals i i haven't read the only the only bear i've actually read is blood music thinking now that i'm thinking about it i probably read some shorts somewhere along the way um but vitals i have not read um i have another one called something dogs um shoot what was it i can't remember something dogs um that i wanted to read it was on my tbr and i didn't get to but 
uh, I went ahead and picked it up. Greg Bear is kind of a, you can find bear often here. Uh, I'm in California. I believe he lived in California before he died. And so a lot of Greg Bear stuff floating around. The Myriad Tour of the Merrimack, number one, R.M. Luke. This is science fiction and a military sci-fi at that. Oh, I picked this one up. Stephen King, Sam Lott on disc. This is for eBay. Um, I believe it's like on eBay for 30 bucks or something like that. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I'll, I'll throw that on eBay at some point. Uh, someday when I load things on eBay someday. Um, I used to have like 14, 12 to 1400 listings on eBay and I'm down to like 400 and something. I haven't listed in a while. So uh, I picked up American Sniper. Also, I'd like to read this one. I really loved um, the movie and learning about Chris Kyle and what he went through, what happened to him. And I'd, I think I'd like to read the book as well. Uh, I enjoy military sci-fi, so I could imagine. I, I enjoy military movies for the most part. I don't usually choose them, but when I watch them, I enjoy them for the most part. And American Sniper was a, that was a, a when I first watched it, it was a, just an amazing movie. Uh, still an amazing movie, but it hit pretty hard when I first watched it. Um, and so I'm, I'd like to read that. Ooh, yeah. I picked up 30 Days of Night uh, book. Didn't even know they had these. I don't know how many more there are of these. So I kind of want to look because I really like 30 Days of Night. I, I have, like I said, the graphic novel or um, the comics of the entire 30 Days of Night series. Enjoyed the movies. And so um, I'll have to look and see if there's other ones and order those. Um, Concrete Grove by Gary McMahon. Um, this one I ordered because it was on one of the horror top, it like won horror book of the year on some horror awards. And so I believe it's a zombie one and I think it's part of a trilogy. Um, Night Flyers by George R. R. Martin. I've heard this is terrible. Uh, I tried to watch the TV show and it seems like it should be really good and I can't i watch like one episode and i'm just bored as heck and i don't want to keep going i don't know why it sounds like it should be great i don't know if the book's gonna be great i don't know uh here's another one of those um vampire ascending ones this is uh maybe number 11 i think and uh, i have a bunch of them somewhere so uh, uh this is avon horror trinity grove i really so I don't really, I like this cover. It's pretty cool. So David Van Meter Smith. This one's definitely for me because I, I specifically, I saw it at a bookstore and they had it ridiculously priced, like stupid high price. And I was like, why is that that rare? So I went on eBay and it was like $4.99. I was like, okay, I'm buying it on eBay. Um, so I bought it on eBay and the dude didn't send it for like, no joke didn't respond to anything didn't send it for like three weeks no nothing i wrote i felt i had to do like a an ebay return uh you know whatever a claim thing so that they would get on his case or whatever or cancel it and give me my money back one of the two and then like a week after i did that all of a sudden it said shipped and showed up at my door i was like okay well that took forever, so hopefully it was worth it. I didn't get to it yet anyway, so I could have waited two months. Um, Terminator Salvation. This is another Alan Dean Foster. I actually really liked this Terminator. Um, it was totally different. It wasn't like it, it wasn't like an Arnold Terminator, really. <laughs> uh, it was just something different about it. It was gritty. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I didn't like the later Terminators, like where they started CGI and Arnold in, like I thought that was weird, and the CGI wasn't as good at that point. I think it was like new. Um, picked up Colorado Kid. I've already read read this one, and I have this one, and so I'll pass this one along. That's gonna be on whatnot. I grabbed it for that reason. 